with you with you and your spirit the holy gospel of our lord jesus christ according to saint luke glory to christ our lord and jesus said to all if any man would come after me let him deny himself take up his cross daily and follow me forever for whoever would save his life will lose it and whoever loses his life for my sake, he will save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, of him will the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in his glory and the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. But I tell you truly, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. Shuha la la ha aminai. Shuha la shiha maran. Good evening, family. It's great to see everybody on this amazing feast of All Saints Day where, family, we're all called to sainthood. That is the call of a Christian, to be a saint, to end up in heaven. Um, I, I think I was saying this last week where a kid said to me, they asked me a question, Father, do only saints go to heaven? And I'm like, yeah. And their, their face just like dropped. They got like scared because they were like, wait, then am I going to go to heaven? Because oh, if only saints go to heaven, am I going to go? And I'm like, I hope so. Like, you're going to go to heaven. Like, you're called to be a saint. Well, here's the thing. A lot of times we read about the saints and we see the saints in these pictures and they have these books and we're like, that looks impossible. Well, I think it's because we read about the saints in like two pages or we'll hear like a presentation about all of the amazing things that happened in those saints' lives. But rarely do we hear about their daily living of virtue. We don't realize that saints were normal people with supernatural virtue. The grace of God that is in all of us, family, we all have Holy Spirit, God's grace to live a saintly life. Those saints... They always say, a sinner, uh, someone going to hell is someone who just gives up. They gave up on God's mercy, they gave up on God's grace, and they quit. But a saint is a sinner who keeps getting back up. A saint is someone who keeps going, keeps staying humble, knowing that we're fallen, and yet God is rising us up. So finish this with me. For those who humble themselves will be... Amen. And that's what we're all called to, to be saints. Saints are made in the daily grind, the little decisions day by day. It's that decision at work to not gossip, or it's that decision to tell someone, hey, let's not do this, or it's that decision between boyfriend and girlfriend to not put ourselves in positions that are going to lead us to sin. It's the daily decision to remind our friends or family, hey, Let's, let's say a prayer before we eat. Or let's pray. Let's get on our knees before we go to sleep. How about this? Try that tonight. Before getting into bed, get on your knees. Not, I'm going to pray my daily prayers while I'm laying down and Mary's going to put me to sleep. Get on your knees and fall asleep on your knees. That would be crazy. But I'm just saying, like, a saint is someone who is, nobody knows what they're doing. Oh, wow, this is good. When I went to seminary, I was on fire, guys. And I, hope, I pray I still am on fire, okay? But I was 24 years old. I go to seminary. I'm ready to, I thought I was going to be a priest like tomorrow, you know, but it took six years. And I was like, this place, I don't like it. You know, I was doing youth ministry. I loved sharing Jesus with people. I was just like a jo joyful person. And I go to the priest, and I'm like, I can't stand this place. And he goes to me, 
Every saint had their silent years where nobody knows what they were doing. Family, when we look at the saints' lives, we say, I can't do that. But little do we know what they're doing in their silent time when nobody is seeing. Much of sainthood is, like, is the quiet little secrets between you and Jesus. When you swallow your pride, when you sacrifice for those you love, you know, when you fast when no one's looking or when you pray when no one is looking. That's what a saint's life is about. I'll repeat after me. Saints are not made in a day. They are made in the day to day. I thought that was a pretty cool quote. They're not made in a day. They're made in the day to day. Every single day, family, we grow in virtue so that we can receive more of God's grace. And the greatest virtue that we can grow in is the virtue of humility. When there is humility, there's dependence on God. Without you, Jesus, I can do nothing. And then when we are dependent more upon God, we have a radical fear of the Lord, and we say, okay, like, I don't, maybe I still want to sin, but God, I'm not going to anymore. I'm going to depend on you. I'm not going to put myself in those positions. I'm going to pray. I'm going to love. I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to be a saint. As kids, we grew up. Hi, kids. Hi, guys. I just love them. They're amazing. As kids, we grew up thinking that only priests and nuns are holy. And it was a really not healthy way of looking at things. Because I'm a seven, eight, nine, ten year old kid thinking I can't be holy because I'm not a priest, I'm not a nun. We saw priests and nuns as saints. You know, entering the priesthood, I've realized we're not, <laughs> okay? Every saint is a normal person who's humble and dependent on God. Every saint is someone who's like, Jesus, you love me. And I love you. And I'm going to live like I love you. I'm no longer going to worship idols. I'm going to worship you. So today, it's a great day to remember all the saints. This is not the feast day of St. John Paul II, my favorite saint. This is not the feast day of St. Therese of Lisieux or St. Rita. This is not a day to honor our Blessed Mother Mary, who's the queen of all the saints, which we will we'll still honor you, Mary, at Scripture Social. This is a day to honor all the saints in heaven, those we know and those we don't know. And family, you're called to be a saint. You are called to be a saint. Do you believe that? Some of us are discouraged by their sin. So from your sin, be humble, repent. Jesus, help me be a saint because without you, I can do nothing. Amen? Let's get a smile. Give me a smile. Aw, sorry. I, guys, I don't know. The verse, Nehemiah 9, uh, the joy of the Lord will be my strength. And so I'm sorry if I get you out of your zone with some joy, but just please show the world the joy of Jesus, okay? Don't take yourself so seriously. Relax, okay? He loves you. Live in it. And avoid some sin. Like, okay, no more. I'm done. Amen?